guys. It is Sunday, July 25th, 2021 at 4.21 p.m. Alright, let's start with a Bible verse. We have a verse of the day from dailyverses.net. It says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. John 1, 12. Alright, let's head over to the National Hurricane Center. We have a disturbance 1 with 50% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours right off of the coast of Florida. It says a low pressure area located 150 miles east of Daytona Beach, Florida is producing disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity mainly over the southern parts of its circulation. Preliminary reports from the Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance Aircraft indicate that this system has changed little in strength since yesterday. Environmental conditions are marginally conductive for development, and a tropical depression could still form later today or early Monday, with the low drifts westward er, or west northwestward toward the northeast coast of Florida. Interest in Florida should continue to monitor the progress of the system. Formation chance through 48 hours, medium at 50 percent, and formation chance through five days, medium at 50 percent. All right, let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific. We have. A disturbance 1 with 70% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours. It says recent satellite and microwave imagery indicate that an area of low pressure located over 1,300 miles east-southeast of the Hawaiian Islands continues to show signs of organization. Environmental conditions remain conductive for further development, and a tropical depression is likely to form within the next day or so, while the system moves westward at 10 to 50 miles an hour. By Tuesday night, conditions are expected to become unfavorable for further development of this system. Formation chance to 48 hours high at 70% and formation chance to 5 days high at 70%. So this storm right here is going to be, as you see here, Hawaii in the middle, it's going to be passing below Hawaii. But we got to keep an eye on it just in case because, you know, got to keep an eye on these uh, storms. So it has, as you see here in the satellite image, it is a bit below Hawaii um, and they're going to be keeping an eye on it but heads up Hawaii, you got a, a little system heading into your area. So either um, the people who fish in the area, uh, be aware, and also just in case anything happens, because you never know with storms, whether it veers north or it veers south or it stays away. Um, but we always got to keep an eye on these systems. You got a ball game going, Hawaii. All right, next. All right, so this is for the, the system that's in off of Florida. This is model 90L model track guidance. This is what the models are showing it could possibly do. It could head into um, Jacksonville area of Florida or into um, Georgia area below uh, South Carolina. Um, there's some models ha uh, showing it going towards Georgia and then scooping out and back out to sea. But who knows exactly what um, that system is going to be doing. Got to keep an eye on that as well to see if it actually develops. Alright, next. Let's take a look at the timeline on Twitter. Um, I have a Twitter, uh, uh, which is news to river which is basically a Space River News channel. But um, I mostly post news on this Twitter. So if before any news ever makes it to video, the news is on my Twitter feed. So if you want to follow my Twitter feed and have heads up before I even make any videos, this is the channel to follow. All right, I'll leave you the link for it as well. All right, so we have a magnitude 3.5 earthquake hitting um, Charlotte Amalie, St. Thomas Island, U.S. Virgin Islands, a couple minutes ago. All right, also thousands rescued and over a hundred dead after a monsoon downpours flood from western India. So a lot of people are suffering um, because of a monsoon happening in India. Please pray for them. All right. Also, an earthquake, a 4.1 uh, magnitude earthquake, uh, 13. I mean, 37 kilometers west southwest of Hardinar, Uttarakhand, India, six minutes ago. All right. Also, severe flooding in distant, excuse me, in Dinant, Belgium, has caused extensive damage, with floodwaters carrying vehicles down submerged roads. As you see here. In this video, the floodwaters are just pretty much pushing cars down the river. There's so many floods going on 
all over the area. I guess it is monsoon season for a lot of areas. Alright. Also, from routers, it says, Watch China unveiled a maglev train capable of top speeds of 372 miles an hour, or 600 kilometers per hour, the state media said. That is a fast, fast train. Alright, also from uh, Earthquake Monitor, a 4.0 earthquake offshore Atacama, Chile, 59 minutes ago. Alright. Also from Dr. Tamika Shakov, it says hit or miss. Region 2848 of our sun launches a gorgeous solar storm while in the Earth zone, but Lasco coronagraph images show it heading west of the Earth. We might have yet have another glancing blow. Hashtag Aurora possible by July 29th. Waiting for prediction models to confirm. So you see here the blow ex uh, coming boom just right off the sun and it could possibly be earth facing so um while it is in the earth strike zone um but it shows it heading west of the earth a little bit so that's good all right as, as i was just talking about and uh nws honolulu saying the national hurricane center is monitoring a low pressure system about 1,300 miles east-southeast of Hilo, Hawaii. A tropical depression is likely to form within the next day or so, while the system moves westward 10 to 50 miles an hour. Stay updated in hurricane.gov. And you see here the system moving westward there. All right, also the moon bright tonight, 13 hours ago. That's a beautiful moon. Um, I did. I was walking uh, my dog earlier in the morning because we had to go do um uh, a toy swap uh so we had to get up early and i was walking the dog and i looked up and it was a beautiful beautiful full moon it was a, it looked like a almost like a orange orange yellow it was pretty amazing all right next from sky news south africa's public run health system has struggled to cope with wave after wave of the covid 19 says lacking sufficient beds and staff hospitals are using a and e's to hold centers where patients wait for uh, a space to free up sometimes for days so I pray for all these people in africa who the health system isn't up to par i guess you could say so pray for them having to deal with all this um covid 19 stuff says your saturday was cool but was it haboob in the grand canyon cool uh so they have uh that post where a haboob happened in the grand canyon which is pretty amazing all right from kastra karimi we got pillars of creation i took this photo during astronomical twilight when the night sky in the uk doesn't completely get dark look at this image i'm gonna zoom it in so you guys can see it better look at that that is amazing pillars of creation i believe that god is the most amazing painter of all <laughs> because look at this look at look at the pillars of creation it is amazing all right next from david blanche flower bsc it says meteor fireball lights up the night sky in norway so a large meteor light up the night sky in norway i'll leave uh, the link to my channel so you guys can check out that post if you feel like reading it also from Woodmank, take a look at the storm in from China. That is quite stormy. Look at that wind. Man, prayers for China because that is a lot of wind. All right, and next, Nile River, a catastrophic failure off the second Ethiopian dam, filling with 3 billion cubic meters of water as it originally planned to fill 13 billion. Six gates had now been opened from the Sudanese El Razars Reservoir to pass the water coming from Ethiopia. So it's a lot of water being let go from the dams uh, from the um, Ethiop coming in from Ethiopia. That is a lot, a lot of water being released. All right, as I had just been talking about, the National Hurricane Center talking about a 70% chance of development for the uh, system heading towards Hawaii. Also from Dabu, look at the difference in dry air between now and the first image and this morning. So a lot of dry air coming into that system off of Florida. 
All right. Also from Shanghir Amhad, 50%. It says just caught an incredible occultation of Saturday tonight. Once, uh, excuse me, of Saturn tonight. Once in a lifetime experience. And then you see uh, a little ant emoji, and then laughing. Let's take a look at this so you guys can can re can catch it. There's a an ant on his um, telescope. And it crawls across Saturn. Uh, I commented, wow, giant monster space ants. Which is funny. But, you know, you never know what you'll catch in the, on a satellite. <laughs> or in a, in a satellite image. Alright. Next, Greg Postel. Not much. Invest 90 owl off of Florida. This is what it looks like right here. This little system. Such a tiny system. But it will be possibly heading towards Jacksonville and the Florida uh, area as well as the Georgia area so heads up you guys alright let's go to strange sounds alright next nuclear disaster question mark a reactor a Taishan nuclear power plant has fuel rods damaged but Chinese officials don't want to shut it down it says next nuclear disaster question mark a reactor at the Taishan nuclear power plant has fuel rods damaged by Chinese officials don't want to close it down. So heads up for China. Possible disaster in your hands. It says French energy company EDF has announced that it would shut down a reactor at the Taishan nuclear power plant in China's Guangdong province due to damage to its fuel rods if it could. But the decision is um, excuse me, ultimately up to plants, uh, China Chinese operator, and they don't want citing the radiochemical parameters of the reactor's primary circuit water were found to be below regulatory thresholds. The power plant is operated by Taishan Nuclear Power Joint Venture, China Guangdong Nuclear Power, is it, which has a GCNPC with 70% stake. The engine, the France EDF with 30% stake after problems were found in fuel rod seals in nuclear reactor number one EDF analyzed data provided by the TNPJVC mainly regarding the primary circuit water's chemical composition. These show of the water's radiochemical parameters are still below the reg regulatory threshold. However, the new data shows the situation is evolving in bad directions, thus prompting continuous monitoring. In France, EDF would have shut down the plant on the basis of analysis carried out. EDF's operating procedures for the French nuclear fleet would lead EDF in France to shut down the, re the reactor in order to accurately assess the situation in progress and stop its development. So heads up, China. You possibly have a disaster in your hands. Who knows? Uh, let's get people praying for them. Hopefully um, nothing bad happens there. But a heads up for you people in China. All right. Uh, I'll leave the link for dailyverses.net so you guys can check out the daily verses. And that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And God bless you guys.